Hey, Abby, how's it going? Hey, guys, okay. Need to get a 70 in this paper to get a 6. Really? Have you, if you look at the grade boundaries, it doesn't... They're not that high. Hey, let me show you the math grade boundaries. Give me a sec. Because I was surprised. If you're doing higher, then let me have a look. Let me show you. Raw mark. Uh, let's do Ed Excel. All years higher. See, so if you look, have a look, it's 104 for a grade 6 on average. So that's across all three papers. So you only need an average of, what, 34, 35 per paper? So the only way you need to get, like, 70 is um, if you've done basically nothing in the past two papers. If you've got 17 in the past two papers, then you'd need to get 70. So yeah, these are the grade boundaries, the average ones for Edexcel. Grade 6 is only 104 out of 240. So 104 out of all of the papers added up. And if you're having issues with the like buffering, because it's giving me a warning that some people might be, uh, just rewind the live stream and watch from there, and it should give it time to kind of catch up. Hey, Bill. Hey, Big Media. So again, just in case if you if you're finding it lagging, um, one thing you can try is playing like pulling the stream back, so replaying part of the video, so going all the way to the beginning. And it should allow time for the stream to catch up a bit. Hey, Maya. Hey, Zam. So here are the kind of grade boundaries, the average grade boundaries across the past five-ish years. This is for Edexcel, I'll show AQA in a second. But in order to, you only need to get under half marks in all of the papers. Okay, so this is the total mark. Bear in mind, each paper is worth 80 marks. So not too bad, I don't think. Definitely possible. As a percentage, if you look at it as a percentage, it's only 43% for a grade 6. So at the moment, I'm just showing the Edexcel um, grade boundaries, but I'll show the AQA ones in a second. Just over half for a seven. So if we go on to AQA, it's practically the same. So yeah, practically the same for AQA in terms of grade boundaries. Slightly higher on average, ever so slightly higher. And for the percentages, that's what you can expect. Okay. So overall, not in my opinion, not too bad. Again, a grade 5 being a third of the marks. So basically, if you've got one of the other papers, you would get a grade 5, which not too bad. Okay, so getting on to today's stuff... We had a bunch of questions that came up previously that I haven't had the chance to go through just yet, so I'm going to start going through them 
today. So if I just go back to the first person, 